Hey everyone, Happy New Year! I cannot believe that it is 2015 already. No joke, it seems like just yesterday was 2014. Um, it's actually ridiculous. I have almost been graduated from high school for an entire year, which blows my mind how fast time moves. Like, really. We have just got to take advantage of the time we are given. No joke. Um, I'm going to have to do a lesson on that. Uh, I hope you guys have just had fabulous January so far. Um, it's been good for me. Been crazy busy. And, uh, yeah, but it was good. The holidays were good. Christmas. Or maybe you celebrate something else, which is cool. Um, but I just hope that you just had a blessed last couple months. Um, you know... Something that I have um, kind of dealt with and struggled with a lot, not just recently, um, for the past couple of years, is just feeling worthy and feeling um, chosen and just like, like no matter what, even in the times that I make a mistake or something, that like I'm still worthy of God's love and, you know, um, just remembering that. And last night when I was doing my bedtime devotional, stumbled across such a great verse and so uh, it really just stuck to me and I was like I have got to do a video on that because I know I'm not the only person who struggled with those feelings um, before so I'll read the verse um, it's John 15 verse um, 16 it said you didn't choose me I chose you and really that um, I appointed you to go and produce lasting fruit so that the Father will give you whatever you ask for using my name. I, when I read I chose you, I was like, yes, Jesus, yes, Lord. I take that, I apply it to my life, and I will receive that and believe that. Um, because that's so true. Like, God, there are still people on this earth that don't believe in Jesus. And even if the people who do believe in him weren't here, he still would have died on the cross because he still chose us just as a human race um, to just die for us and to um, allow us to live in freedom and have a way out of sin and a way out of living um, with just no peace and no joy and all that. Like he gave us a way out and he chose us. He really, he like he chose us. And that's just awesome. And I know, like, we choose to follow him. But in the, you know, in the very beginning of the, of whenever somebody knew is coming to Christ, like, he's already chosen them. He already has a plan for them. He already has a path laid out for them and opportunities and blessings and miracles because he chose them, even though they haven't even decided whether or not they wanted to follow him or not. He still has this amazing plan for them because that's just the type of loving God that he is, which just blows my mind because then it reminds me, you know what? He chose me before he knew if I would decide I'm going to live my life for the Lord. He chose me knowing all the mistakes I was going to make, knowing all the mistakes I have already made, and he still chose me. I am chosen you're chosen, we're all chosen, and that is just so beautiful, and just floods me with peace, and just pure joy knowing that the Jesus and the God in heaven said, hey, I chose you, how cool is that, I mean, that's pretty cool, you know, let's be honest, that's, that's, that's pretty, that's awesome, okay, um, so I don't know where you guys are in your walks, Maybe you're in a great place. You're constantly pursuing the Lord, setting time aside with, for Him every single day. Um, maybe you're a new Christian and you're kind of figuring out how. Maybe you're watching this and you're still figuring out if you want to take the leap of do I want to or not. And um, honestly, wherever you are in your walk, take from this video knowing that he says, I chose you, you're chosen, and we have to believe that, and we have to receive it. I think too many times, especially if somebody like gives you a compliment, I know I've had this issue, 
of if somebody would be like, oh, your hair looks good. I'm like, oh, okay, whatever, and I, I just blow it off because I don't want to hear it. And, um, and that's, that's not, that's not okay, you know, that's not kind, because we're, we're stripping these people of the either kind words or the blessings that they want to pour out on us, and that's the same thing with Jesus. He wants you to know that, hey, I chose you, and when we're just like, no, you know, I'm this and this and this, I did this and this and this, stop, stop living in that turmoil, because it's going to get you nowhere. Receive the blessings that we've been given from the Lord and that you've been given, you know, the opportunities you've been given, the talents you've been given. Receive them and start believing that I was chosen to do this or I was chosen to be able to say this or speak this. Believe it. And honestly, there are times when I, rather than just blowing off somebody's compliment or anything like that, I will literally say, I receive that and I will take that. Because just saying I will receive that reminds me, hey, you receive it and you apply it to your life. And if it's something that is an insecurity or something you struggle with, well, you're going to start every time somebody says that, you're going to receive it and you're going to tell yourself, I will start to believe this about myself. And I will see me through the eyes of others and through the eyes of the Lord. So, you're chosen. You are. And... That's such a beautiful thing. So believe it today. Believe it this week as you walk through your week, the hard times, the good times, sad times, mad times, bad times, whatever. Just know that, hey, I was chosen and God knows what I can handle and he is just strengthening me and building me to be the best version of me that I can possibly be. So take comfort in that because that's awesome. Really. Um, I love you guys, and uh, I really hope you have such a blessed week. Um, a lot of events and big things coming up for all of us, and I can't wait. Um, so please tweet me, Facebook me, Instagram, whatever. Um, and I'd love to hear from you guys, feedback, ideas, things you guys would love for me to talk about. Let me know, because I love, 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 love hearing from you guys. So uh, have a great rest of your day, great rest of your week, and I'll see you soon. Bye.